Hello guys, this is a little video how I do stream with my PC on YouTube. Um, it's not easy with a PC because uh, the music software works with ASIO and uh, um, Windows has this MME system. But uh, thanks to some fellow uh, guys on Facebook, um, they pointed out to me a very good solution for this. And this is uh, how it works. So I use um, uh, myself Cubase 9 in this case, and on the insert you need to uh, use the Foxenko WAV file recorder. And let's go to the side. You see uh, Foxenko, here it is, recorder plugin. It's free, it's 32 bit, and um, uh, you can download it and install it. Unlucky in Cubase 9, or maybe it's a good thing. You only can use 64 bits. So, if you want to have running this wave recorder, you also need to purchase the uh, uh, J Bridge. And the J Bridge makes that you can use 30 bit uh, programs inside your 64 bit music host program. Hopefully, Foxango will update someday this wave recorder. Uh, to also being a 64-bit version. Um, well, the next thing you need to do is put this wave recorder on the insert, on the main insert, and then as MME device, you need to select cable input, VB audio virtual cable. And this is a, an additional software you need. Okay, let's go to their homepage. One second. Uh, VB audio software. There you can purchase this First of all, audio cable, which you need, otherwise uh, the whole streaming will not work. It's not very expensive, and in the info section below I will uh, set the links for the software. So, once you have this uh, installed, then the next thing you need to do here in the WAV file recorder is output to MME, and then you need press start then it starts streaming the audio of Cubase uh, to MME so output to MME and then you press start here and it uh, starts uh, putting it out into audio another trick what I do is for the microphone um, is I have an extra channel here in Cubase the other channel is then for instance this instrument I like to demo the, uh, for instance, I did uh, Predator 2. And down here you see microphone, and there I click this button, monitor. My voice was gone, but so then I have a direct monitor monitoring thing of the microphone. So using a hardware mixer, I use the microphone, and uh, by using um, this uh, monitor function, you can hear me now. So. That's what I do in, uh, in Cubase. Of course, other people use other hosts and well, check it out if you can have an extra track or channel where you can um, put in your microphone and do it uh, live. So the other thing you need for streaming uh, is stream software. And the one I use is called OBS. And um, in OBS, when you do install it, um, you need to go down here there you have the webcam the display or the uh, the capture of the display what people can see and here there is a setting which is called desktop audio and this one um, you need to set properties also to this cable so the cable input virtual audio cable so Cubase streams out to this virtual cable and here in the streaming software you select this virtual cable for the audio and then it starts working. Okay, there are quite some features inside this program. I still could not figure out how to stream on a bit higher screen resolution so that I need to figure out still. But at least we have the audio. So um, now let's go to the home page of OBS one second 
This is an open broadcaster software. It's for Windows, Mac, and also for Linux. Uh, it's a um, donation where, um, please make a donation to these guys. I think uh, what they do is, is great. And um, this is the only one which works. There are many streaming programs, and most likely on a Mac is uh, it's a bit easier because Mac has the core audio, which is a much better basic audio system than uh, the uh, PC has. So this open broadcaster software, that's also something you need uh, for streaming on your PC. Uh, officially, it's donationware, so make them a nice donation.